Hello to you on a cracking night here at the Theatre of Dreams, Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one, my goodness, so much to look forward to. It is Manchester United facing Porto. Well, thank you, Derek. Well, you look at the hosts being such big favourites in this game. Just wonder how their opponents approach the game. I think the key to this is keep it really tight in the first 20 minutes. Try and frustrate those home fans. And then hopefully you can nick a goal here and there and take your opportunities. This is the team Manchester United will go with. David De Gea between the posts. Harry Maguire plays with Rafael Varane at the back. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Thank you, old chap. Here's the starting 11 for Porto. It does rather look as though it's going to be a battle of the 4-5-1 formations in this game. Similar setups, Lee. Well, it looks lovely in the graphic, doesn't it? There's players everywhere. They have got the freedom to roam around the pitch how they see fit. There is some structure to it, but that lone striker up front needs support. Not only around him, but from wide areas of two. The supply line will come from the wide midfield players and maybe the overlapping fullbacks. Bruno Fernandes. It's a weighted pass. Is this the moment? Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kick the outcome. Donny van der Beek. Jaden Sancho. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Flag up, tight offside. Aaron Wan Bissaka. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. Saka Sancho Donny van der Beek Bruno Fernandes Ronaldo Goalkeeper getting in the way Superb save Well that was the chance to take the lead And the manager's frustration is there for all to see Corner kick played in. A deft clearance. Well, pressure building. Another corner. Over it comes. Well, you can see he was feeling the pressure, but gave it a go anyway. Not close, though. Well, it was definitely worth the chance. Just got the technique a little bit off. Given away by Manchester United. Taremi. Bruno 
Bruno Fernandes. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Can they create something from here? Played into the centre. And he did what he had to do defensively. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Read it well. it's going to be Paul Pogba Bruno Fernandes has it Jadon Sancho and they did have the ball but not anymore So they had attacking momentum, but not so. Well, Manchester United controlling possession here, but that doesn't lead to goals necessarily. They haven't created enough. Too slow up front, midfield, very average. The coach, he's not happy at all. He wants more from this team. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Oliveira. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Oh, a lovely incisive pass. And Ronaldo just needs to remain level-headed. It's got to be. Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one-versus-one -one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. So the corner played into the box. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Yeah. There is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Jaden Sancho. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Well, how often do we say this? Cristiano Ronaldo has struggled to get into the game, not really making much of an impact, Lee. Well, as we can see, he's been in and out of this game. Not like him, to be fair. All will be forgiven if he gets the winner, though. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Pepe and on the ball Sergio Oliveira a foul but advantage played Sergio Oliveira Paremi Jesus Corona here's Manafa oh what an opportunity delivering it into the box but it wasn't a taxing save. It's opening up for them. Luis Diaz. That's a nice looking ball. And the danger cleared. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Have they given him too much space? Well, let's look at this again. Magical football on the break. Surprise is the key. And then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Well, the manager's showing signs of frustration. They need to improve if they're going to get something out of this game, Derek. The opening goal of the game, then.
And we're inside the final 30 minutes. And the attack looks promising. Rashford. Bruno Fernandes. On to Ronaldo. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Wonderful block. Luis Diaz. And the referee blows for a foul. Substitution for Manchester United coming off the pitch. Decent reading of that ball in. Shaw. Couldn't keep it. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. A real defensive commitment there. Given away by Manchester United. Mbemba inside the last quarter of an hour and possession given away opportunity it is well decent effort but not troubling the keeper too much well to be fair United have worked their socks off to get themselves in front here they just need to see this out the fans are trying their best Mbemba. United come away with it. Fred. Not a good pass. Pepe. Under pressure. Doesn't seem to be bothering him. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. Here it is now. A substitution. Applying vigorous pressure. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Do they have the guile to up and up the defence? Lingard ready to fire. Oh, just off target. Well, it was a wonderful break at speed and looked like they were going to capitalise on it. Not far off, Derek. a couple of additional minutes at the end here Jesse Lingard Cristiano Ronaldo he's in with a chance can they slot it home well threat over for now and that's it for tonight full time and an encouraging start for them. Three points from their initial fixture lead. Yeah, really, really strong start. That's what you need. But with five games to go, very important you stay in the now. One game at a time, Derek. Bit of a cliche. Well, a good performance as per usual from Marcus Rashford. Lee, how would you sum up his contribution? Well, he's always a danger, isn't he? No more so when he grabbed that goal. He never disappoints me when I watch him. He's just too good. Simple.